The Yemar Masech Shabbos quotes the great sage, Rabbi Gamliel, who says as follows, Whoever has compassion upon people, Hashem has compassion upon such an individual in return. And whoever does not exhibit compassion for other people, Hashem does not have compassion upon such a person. The Gemara quotes the Pasuk, And Hashem will give you compassion, He will have compassion on you. So Begumil interprets this to mean that essentially what you give to others is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives back to you. This concept is echoed in the famous sentiment of the Baal Shem Tav HaKadosh, of Hashem Tzilcha. We mentioned this before in the past. We often translate Hashem Tzilcha, Hashem is your, we translate it as Hashem is your shade. But the Baal Shem Tav HaKadosh really explains that it means Hashem is your shadow. Your shadow does whatever you do. You see what Rabbi Gamliel and the Baal Shem Tav were teaching us is something dramatically amazing. Often in life, we ask Hashem for many things. And we wait, and we sit, and we expect the Ribbono Shal Olam to come through. And the Ribbono Shal always comes through. Sometimes he comes through in the way that we wanted him to. Sometimes it's a little bit different. But the Ribbono Shal Olam always comes through. But what Rabbi Gamliel and what the Baal Shem are both saying is, you don't have to wait passively for a certain set of results. If there is something that you want from the Ribbono Shal Olam, you can drive that process by emulating that very thing, by personifying, by acting in the way towards others that you want Hashem to act towards you, that moves the process forward. So you need parnosa, you need parnosa, you need Kaddish Baruch Hu to give you a livelihood, be charitable to others. You need a refuah, you need healing, be mevak yechoveh. Go visit the sick. You see, Hashem Tzilcha, the Ribbono Shel Olam, is our shadow. Whatever we do, however we act, He reacts to us in kind. So often we play the role of the passive supplicant, waiting for HaKadosh Baruch Hu to fill our needs, waiting for Baruch Hu to answer all of our tefillos, and halavai we should be zocha. But we need not be passive. Whatever you want from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, do that same thing for the other. Whatever it is that you are requesting from God, be there to answer the request of someone else. And if I do that, if I do for others what it is that I'm asking HaKadosh Baruch Hu to do for me, then Hashem Tzilcha, Hashem is my shadow. The Ribbon Shom emulates me. See, and it's this incredible dialectic. On one hand, we have to emulate HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Mahu rachum, rachum. Just like God is compassionate, I have to be compassionate. We model our behaviors based on the attributes of the Ribbon Shal Olam. But the great secret of life is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, emulates us as well. Whatever you want from God, make sure to do for the other. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.